we're, we're delighted to see each other from last month. And so we yammer, 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 and forget, oh, we're here to see a slideshow. And listen to that Richard Starbuck go on talking forever and ever. I told uh, uh, Eric Solsquale, I have 30 odd slides. Uh, it's 40 now, it grows. We have to compact that into 30 minutes or Daniel Cruz will be saying, Richard, keep it shorter. <laughs> so, <laughs> our program for today, uh, this October 13th, uh, uh, 2016, on a beautiful, beautiful uh, sunlit uh, uh, day, is, uh, of course, the 250th anniversary of, and we have it as Winston-Salem, uh, uh, 250th anniversary of Winston-Salem, and let's have a short review followed by a look to the future. And yes, we Moravians do like planning ahead. And um, then a, a look at, uh, at the past again and what they did. So let's get on with it right away. You know <laughs> that when we Moravians purchased the 100,000 acres of land in the Earl of Granville's uh, uh, North Carolina colony, we wanted to have a central community um, to uh, 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 be our, our chief administrative uh, <clears throat> uh, city and, of course, mer uh, uh, merchant and industry. Bethabra was way out to the northwest, and Bethania as well is even farther. And so you know uh, that it took a while here in the ups and downs of central Winston-Salem uh, to, uh, to locate precisely where the Lord would want to have our chief administrative city, our new town, as we called it at the time. Now, <clears throat> You all recall what date that was in 1765 that, uh, 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 that the Lord our Savior gave the nod of there is, uh, uh, is where you want to put it. What day is it? Uh, I'll give you a little hint. Uh, what day was it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, it's amazing how we Moravians pick days that are easy to remember. And of course, the uh, 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 home Moravian church continues to remember the, uh, uh, the occasion with the watchword for the, for the day. Let thine eye be open up upon this uh, toward this house night and day, even toward the place of which thou hast said, my name shall be there. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Uh, in the original uh, Wachovia diary, here it is written out, I guess that's Johann Michael Groff's uh, handwriting, and he says, my, my name shall be there. And they added a word, eternally. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the hymn verse to follow, um, let grace here, let grace here reign. So, uh, simple and childlike uh, frame. What a wonderful hymn to go along with the uh, 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 with the uh, 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 scripture verse of our daily text, and here it is in the daily text of 1766, uh, February 14th, from 1 Kings 8:29. And then you know it took us about a year to get our act together, and on what day in January? Uh, 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 in January of 1766, 
Did we start the uh, 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 lay of felling trees in the uh, in the new town to build our first builder's <coughs> cabin in Salem? What day was it? January 6th, I heard people say Epiphany. What a wonderful day to start the, uh, the city. I still haven't mentioned the name of the new town, have I? <laughs> Neues, uh, the name for the Neues Stadt, city, not community, not village, please. This is a city, shall be Salem. That was brought over on January 30th, 1766, after we had begun that first building, the building of the first uh, 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 cabin in Salem, the workers' cabin. And you recall, well, it isn't particularly a memorable date. February 19th. The first eight single brethren, eight single brethren, brethren, and we go down the list, George Holder, uh, Jacob Steiner, uh, brothers, Zelig, uh, 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 Melchior Rasp, Nils Pedersen, uh, uh, Gottfried uh, Pretzel, uh, Jan Schmidt, poor Dower Jan Schmidt, and John Burkhead, they were our eight town builders to start the work to create Salem. And on another memorable date, I, I think I'll have to give this one to you. Uh, June 6th uh, was the laying of the foundation stone for the first house in Salem. June 6, 1766. This picture, of course, is of the reconstruction on Main Street. Now, that was the beginning. Um, in, uh, on October 10th, just earlier, what? Uh, earlier this week, uh, October 10th, uh, 1766, Gottfried Pretzel set up his loom in uh, one of the rooms of the first house, and that began industry in the city of Winston-Salem. But we didn't stop there, of course. We had to have a nice big brother's house uh, to continue work in Salem. 1769, uh, the, oh, the northern portion, the new portion, of course, uh, came later on. The Gamine House of, uh, uh, or Church House of, uh, of Salem, looking out on the Salem Square, uh, uh, dedicated, consecrated on November 13th, 1771, when Salem was organized as a congregation, a, uh, a settlement congregation of the worldwide Moravian Church. <clears throat> oh, the uh, Gemeinde House uh, no longer exists. You all know where it was, where Main Hall is today where Main Hall is today, uh, opened uh, in March of 17, of 1856. Uh, Happy anniversary, 160 years ago, Main Hall of Salem College. And then, of course, the building of the, uh, the Salem Church, a uh, home Moravian church, uh, on uh, where we had our first services on November 9th, 1800, moving, walking out from the uh, Gemeinde House and in procession, having the first service uh, in home church. And of course, there were also uh, in those celebrations that we will look forward to, of course, there is something called an American Revolution uh, 250 years ago. So heads up, be aware, America will celebrate its 250th, I'm sure. 
be sure to vote. Uh, we Moravians, like uh, other Americans, love to have anniversaries. And it's surprising that uh, uh, right off the bat in 1766, we had an anniversary for, uh, uh, for, uh, uh, for Salem. March 14th. Well, actually, they missed it by a date. March 14th, they decided, uh-oh, we better remember uh, uh, February 14th, a year ago, when uh, 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 the, the Lord chose this site for Salem with the, uh, those ringing uh, words of the daily text that my name shall be there. So right off the bat, a month late, we started celebrating anniversaries of Salem. The next year, 1767, uh, Brother, uh, Brother Utley came from Bethabra, from Bethabra, um, and along with Brother uh, Lawrence Baga um, to celebrate, well, February 19th, the first anniversary, one year, in which the little economy of Salem with eight single brethren uh, was, uh, was begun. Our first anniversary for Salem, if you don't count the first one, a month off. The second, uh, the 10th anniversary of Salem uh, fell in 1766, a time of, shall we say, unpleasantness. The, uh, <clears throat> and so we did not celebrate uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, founding of Salem, February 19th. That's when those eight, uh, uh, those eight single brethren moved to Salem uh, uh, to establish permanent residence in Salem, fe uh, February 19th, 1766. But in 1776, well, there was that unpleasantness, the beginning of the American Revolution, uh, the only thing that was mentioned in the diary wasn't uh, any celebration of Salem, but uh, Brother Wilhelm Grobs came rushing in to uh, Salem. The recruiters were out trying to round up young men to serve in the army. No, thank you, said William Grobs. I am Moravian. We do not join in armed conflict. Aside from that, he was 11 years old. Mm, speaking of cannon fodder, fodder, you would think that the uh, 25th anniversary, we would celebrate it in 1791. We ignored it. I have not found one word of remembrance of Salem in 1791. But for the 50th anniversary, 1816, right after the, uh, the War of 1812, finally we get around to having an official uh, celebration of the beginning of the combined the congregation, settlement congregation of Salem, complete with a, uh, 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 a, uh, an ode for the occasion. Um, <clears throat> Uh, for the uh, 19th of February. Well, when you have a big blowout celebration, you also have to have a little history to go along with it. Um, for the building, uh, for the building of the uh, of the Congregation of Salem, 1766 to uh, uh, to 1816. This was written by. Uh, Louis David uh, von Schweinitz, uh, known uh, our chief administrator at the time, uh, also known as the father of uh, 
of my, uh, of mycology, uh, mushrooms, study of mushrooms uh, in, in America. For the 100th anniversary, we went at it in a big way. Let me tell you, boy, the, uh, 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 the, uh, 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 the, uh, the print shop in town, the Bloom uh, 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 printers, uh, 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 the uh, uh, predecessor of what's known as Gos Goslin Printing Company, uh, 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 printed our, our, our ode for the uh, 100th anniversary. Uh, it was so big that it took two solid days, sun, uh, 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 Monday and Tuesday. I think it was Monday and Tuesday. I kind of liked bringing this out. Recognize it? That Sam Bonato's lovely hymn of highly favored congregation loved by Jesus and esteemed. You can find that one in the 20, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, 1995 Moravian Book of Worship. Word for word. It's wonderful we continue so, uh, singing hymns from even a hundred years ago. That one's even older. And concluding it, I was running around telling Nola Knauss, director of the Moravian Music Foundation, yeah, yesterday, look at that two, hymn tune 249, 249A. What hymn tune is that? Eric, where's Eric? Seraphim. Do you want to attempt to sing it? Uh, oh, why seraphim? It's the hymn tune sung Easter sunrise service by band number two in front of home Moravian church while band number one hustles up the hill to be stationed at the new boys school. Puff, puff, just in time. Uh, uh, band number two plays seraphim twice and if it want to, wants to, it can add the coda Amen, hallelujah, uh, as uh, the uh, centennial for Salem did here in the, in the ode. Well, if you, have, if you have a big celebration, guess what? You're going to have a little history to go along with it. Yes, up to February 1868. And yes, Schweinitz did it again. Ooh, wait a minute, this time it isn't uh, Louis David von Schweinitz. It is Emil uh, uh, Adolphus uh, de Schweinitz, our administrator uh, in, uh, uh, during the Civil War and, and Reconstruction. But uh, nonetheless, we were bound to celebrate. Oh, Brother Schweinitz, E. A. Schweinitz was our first Southern-born Moravian Bishop. Now, to celebrate the hundredth brother, you better believe we're going to be out there uh, 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 decorating uh, to a fare thee well. Where's that Bill Van Hoven? Oh dear, for, for the anniversary, uh, 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 the 200th anniversary of home church, we didn't go out nearly as much as the 100th anniversary of the town of Salem, including that big block letters, 100 and, let's see, do, 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 the daily text for uh, 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 February 19th, 1766, Alf Dorch, please. And February 19th, 1866, Alf, oh, in English, uh, um, uh, tying the two, uh, the century together very, very, uh, uh, very, very appropriately. Also, you can get an idea of what home church looked like before the great renovation of 1870. Here is the balcony on the east side, the balcony on the west side, the windows on the north side. Hello, uh, 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 choir loft, we don't see you. You don't exist yet. Um, 
Even the local newspaper, those blooms hard at work, uh, put put out a nice new uh, 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 weekly publica- publication of the occasion, including noting that the uh, the year the number 100 w- appeared in large block figures in the sanctuary. Boy, did they ever do it up to a fairly well. I, I had to include this to show we leave notes to ourselves. How did we manage to get an extra copy of the, uh, 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 of the, uh, 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 of the People's Press for February t- uh, 24th, 1866. Well, somebody's fa- uh, uh, father uh, brought it in, right, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> and grandfather brought it in, right, John? Thank you. It's amazing how hi- history just flows along together. Now, we come up to another big celebration of the uh, of the uh, 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 of the uh, uh, of uh, the founding of Salem, Winston Salem. This one, of course, as you know, uh, as you can see up in the upper right-hand corner. Thank you, Anna and Burton Snyder, for putting page numbers on 70 years worth of uh, uh, of Wachovia, Moravia. We can find out what, what's what, including, yes, the little editorial uh, about it. Then you turn to the page four, I believe it is, three or four, and you get three pages worth of events that took place on the 150th anniversary of, and yes, they called it exercises for when Salem and Winston, Winston Salem, uh, since uh, three years earlier, we had consolidated, we Salemites had finally gotten those people in Winston. Yeah, okay, we'll vote for it. Uh, uh, that, they were sure stubborn. They didn't want to. I don't know why. Uh, 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 but they, we had it. Uh, 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 services, the Wachovia Historical Society put up memorial plaques, including the one at uh, Main and Southwest corner of Main and and uh, First Street, uh, showing the uh, the dividing line between uh, Salem and Winston uh, until consolidation in 1913, and. Of course, we're going to have our, our busy as a bee uh, historian, Adelaide Freeze, putting out a little booklet on the town builders, the eight single brethren to, uh, who uh, uh, began the work on Salem that, uh, uh, that February, moved to Salem to begin work on it that February 19th, 1766. A small celebration of the 175th anniversary of Salem. Uh, quickly calculate uh, 1941. Ooh. We didn't celebrate it very much, but somebody. And that might be Miss Adelaide's handwriting. I'm not sure to correct that to Charles Holder, uh, whose house was right here. And let's see, still standing at the time. In uh, still standing in 1941, still standing. Hmm. You know, in the late 1930s, with Williamsburg going full blast at restoration, we had the idea we had far more buildings than uh, uh, than Williamsburg's burn, burned out uh, uh, assembly building and governor's house, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We had uh, we had home 
home church around the square, the sister's house, the brother's house, uh, the uh, 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 what is called T. Baga now, uh, the uh, uh, the tavern down uh, down Main Street where George Washington spent two nights, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let us begin have a new beginning called World War II. Yeah. So somebody in the early, late 40s, early 50s, got a notion of starting a, well, shall we call it what Miss Adelaide called it, Old Salem. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good idea. And aimed for, in that late 1949, 1950, beginning of Old Salem, and we call it now museums and gardens, uh, uh, aiming for why not a grand celebration of the 200th anniversary of Winston-Salem, 200th anniversary. Here's the newspaper gift, gift to the community. Gift to the community. Uh, that April 10th, uh, 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 1966. I don't know how many copies we have here at the, uh, at the archive, but we're all always delighted to see it. Who were the movers and shakers of that 200th anniversary? It was, well, you all recall it was a knockout, right, uh, right Arthur? Yes. None other than, oh yes, Archie K. Davis, guess what, who we named the building after, Archie K. Davis, uh, the president and uh, 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 chairman of the board of, uh, 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 chairman of the board of Wachovia uh, Bank and Trust, and uh, um, Jane, who is that? That, that you know, he sort of looks familiar. Yeah, uh, James Alexander Gray, all the James Alexander Grays are called James Alexander Gray. You can't tell them apart. They all have wavy, uh, wavy blonde reddish hair. It's marvelous. Uh, uh, this is the James A. Gray who uh, engineered uh, the, uh, uh, the beginning of Old Salem Museums and Gardens as its first uh, director. And Arthur is, what, the second director of the uh, Old Salem Museums and Gardens? It's good to have you here. Um, this was an intimate uh, uh, partnership in bringing it about. Can you imagine getting a nice little notice from the, uh, uh, from the president of the, brand, of the bank saying, call me any time, and my, my uh, secretary will be sure to answer the phone. Isn't that wonderful? And that, those two working together, you can imagine we had a blowout and a half. John, there, there it is for the, uh, 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 for the, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the uh, uh, performance of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, 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 of the play down in the uh, uh, in the Maydell of Salem College, uh, of the uh, outdoor drama till the day break, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, the amphitheater on the far side of the. Uh, 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 of the Salem College Fine Arts Center was built specifically for this and for use of Salem Academy and College. I'm delighted they still use it uh, when the air conditioner is not running. <laughs> it was such a big operation in 1966. Winston-Salem issued an invitation to the president of the nation Y'all come and celebrate the 4th of July, uh, first uh, uh, official 4th of July in Salem. And anybody remember what happened? He didn't get here. But 
What we did have was the Secretary of Treasury, uh, 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 Mr. Fowler, Henry Fowler, uh, to uh, help celebrate on that 4th of July um, the uh, first official uh, uh, celebration in the United States, well, after the first one in, in 1766, uh, that uh, still occasionally, like last 4th of July, was observed with the, uh, uh, with the uh, 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 service of, of uh, of a psalm of joy once again sung, this time in Home Moravian Church. And so that comes close to bringing us to an end of our uh, presentation today. We have had a very delightful 250th of Winston-Salem. Except, ooh, some people remind me um, <clears throat> that uh, somebody is somebody is going to be talking about the 250th anniversary of the single sisters arriving in Wachovia from Bethlehem in Pennsylvania. Uh, be sure to be there on on, on October 25th. October 25th, uh, uh, somebody is going to go talk forever and ever on it, might even have a slide or two. And with that, we conclude, except, I was handed this at the last minute and said, you had better talk about this. Mm -hmm. The music division of the Ar Archie K. Davis Center. I would like uh, all of us to remember that uh, on November 5th, that Saturday, November 5th, 7.30 p.m. at Home Moravian Church, the Piedmont Chamber Singers will have present a concert of all Moravian music, including the feature uh, work of a Missa Breva, Brevis by uh, Johann Gottlieb Ground, oh, edited by our very own David Bloom. Thank you very much, David. Um, and also uh, on November 20th, the Moramus Chorale will have its 40th anniversary uh, concert. Um, that's also the 60th anniversary concert uh, for the uh, Moravian Music Foundation featuring music by Salem composers. So it all fits in. 250th of Winston-Salem. Let's continue our celebration. The, the authority is Salem, uh, 7.30, at home, Moravian, 7, 7.30, Saturday, November 5th, uh, in home, Moravian Church. It will be a wonderful concert. David says it better be. Um, now, next month, we will have a special occasion. Um, we Moravians hold a worldwide unity synod. Nowadays, it is uh, uh, every seven years, uh, uh, a worldwide unity synod, which this year was held in Jamaica uh, with our Jamaica Moravian Church as hosts. Thank you very much. Uh, but the three participants, uh, um, Delegates, the three delegates from the southern province here in uh, in the United States, David Guthrie, president of uh, Provincial Elders Conference, John D. Wright, and Craig S. Troutman, will give us a, a rundown of what took place in the Unity Senate uh, uh, last uh, last summer. Now, thank you all very much for your patience, and that's all. <laughs>